Alexander Verov is having a very good 2024. What is his letter grade at the midway point of this year? What's up, everybody? It's John Eric Poli, and I'm continuing to hand out letter grades for the midway point of 2024. Kick things off with the Neil Medvedev. This men's coverage continues here today with Alexander Verov. Verov's letter grade this year is a B. Much like the Neil Medvedev, it's been very consistent this year for Alexander Verov, and that's something that's great to see from Verov, because Verov, of course, is very talented. We know he had the injury a few years ago. He's able to come back nicely from that and playing very well at a very high level here in 2024. Let's remember what he did in the Australian Open, starting this year off here in 2024. He knocks Carlos Alcarez out of that tournament, gets to the semifinal, goes five sets with the Neil Medvedev, a hardcourt specialist. Really was right in the mix of things there. Medvedev, of course, obviously loses to Yannick Sinner in five sets, but that was a big way to start out the year. And then from there, that consistency is there. He's right in the mix of things in every single tournament. He gets to the clay season, which is his bread and butter. He ends up winning the Italian Open. Big momentum shift there for him as he headed into the French Open, which carried with him because he made the finals of the French Open and came in with one set of beating Carlos Alcarez for the title. That was a five-set thriller. It was a great match. It was back and forth. He was very composed. Later in the match, so those bigger points got away from him a little bit. Alcarez just had what it... You know, had a little bit more in the tank there as that match went on, but he was right in the mix of things, and he definitely, at some point, we would think is going to win a major championship. The guy is way too talented. That first serve is the best on tour here so far on the men's side of things. It's absolutely incredible. His backhand is so high level. When that forehand gets going, he's just about unbeatable. He can compete with the best of the best, and he's been doing that this year. He's been giving Carlos Alcarez fits all years. Of course, it's only fitting that Alcarez beats him in the finals as Alcarez is the young stud that he is and is very incredible. But if you're on the side of Team Verb, you have to like the way 2024 is going. And there's still a lot of tennis left to be had yet this year. I'm not sure how Wimbledon is going to work out for him. Uh, obviously, that grass surface is very tricky. We've seen a lot of players struggle with it over the years. But when we get to that hard court season in the later part of the year, I mean, he's absolutely going to be right in the mix of things. Let's remember, too, he did make a U.S. Open final before, right? He did lose a five-setter again in that one uh, to Dominic Team when Team won his only major championships. We expect that Verve should be in the mix of things there. Verve's having a very good 2024 so far, and we're just going to have to be able to see if he's going to be able to at some point win that big one. Now, I know he has the same grade as Medvedev. Medvedev didn't hold up a trophy yet this year, and uh, we know, obviously, that uh, Verov did winning that Italian Open, but obviously, I mean, y y something's got to give somewhere. If you want to make the case to give Verov a B+, plus, I'd be perfectly okay with that, but I just think, you know, there's been a few moments of little inconsistencies here or there from him, but overall, very consistent play from Verov so far here. And you got to really like the way Verov's been playing this year as we roll on here in 2024.